And we have big news from out of this world tonight, specifically from one of Saturn's moons. Could there be life up there? A spacecraft operated by NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab here in Southern California has just confirmed that the basic building blocks for life exist. KTLA's Dave Malkoff on the beat. Cassini is a probe that's been poking around Saturn's rings and moons for years. If we had the actual life size, it would not fit in this room. It would be four times bigger than this. It would this. be four yeah. times bigger than this. My name is Sammy Asmar. I work here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It's the NASA center responsible for the unmanned exploration of the solar system. Sammy and his team have just published a discovery, not about the famous ringed planet itself, but about Titan, the largest moon of the planet Saturn. A study of the moon's gravity reveals an ocean warm liquid water flowing just beneath Titan's surface. We've been actually mapping the entire surface of Titan. The surface itself is frozen and almost certainly lifeless because Saturn is out there. One time around the sun, one Saturnian year is equal to about 30 of our years. We wanted to know why that far out the water isn't frozen solid. NASA scientists say the heat comes from two places. Titan's very hot core and a space tide. This tidal force from Saturn on Titan is like it's transferring energy to it every time this happens. So how do they know the water's there? Well, we're told Titan is a lot like this water balloon. It can warp out of shape because it's got a solid surface with an ocean sloshing around on the inside. Saturn's gravity pulls the underground ocean out the way our moon's gravity pulls our oceans out. It's because of that sloshy nature of the moon they know there's water in there. Kind of tickles your brain, makes you think, aha, uh -huh, is there really a possibility of life? Life as we know it needs three things, heat, water, and carbon. Titan has all three. So a lot of people think Titan today might look like how Earth might have looked like, say, two billion years ago. Anything from nothing to bacteria to deep space sea monsters could exist in that underground ocean on Titan. But to make that discovery, future explorers will need a much bigger ship. At JPL, Dave Malkoff, KTLA.